I've always been a pretty big sports fan, and one of the ways I became a fan of sports was from playing old school video games. I learned the rules and the way that the games work, and even found out some of my favorite teams because of it. So I figured for this week's countdown, and since I haven't done a sports one yet, why not count down the 10 best sports titles on the NES? Don't worry, I'll count down the 10 worst in the future soon. So without further ado, here are the 10 best, my favorite, sports titles on the NES. Kicking off this list is the first sports title I ever played, and that's RBI Baseball. Featuring only a handful of teams, the playoff teams from the 1986 and 87 years, as well as two all-star teams, but it featured actual MLB players, which is something that didn't happen all that often back, especially during the NES days. While it's not the best playing baseball game, and there would actually be three other RBI Baseballs released for the NES alone, RBI Baseball will always be one of my personal favorites, and one I still go back to and play play today. An oddball soccer title on the NES and part of the Captain Tsubasa series in Japan, Tecmo Cup Soccer is a game that features some RPG elements and story elements with menu systems that you get to pull up in order to do things like pass or shoot the ball. It's a bit weird to kind of get used to everything, but once you do it, it's a really cool title. Unfortunately, the other games in the Captain Tsubasa series didn't make it over to North America, but this one in particular is still worth seeking and is a real fun game overall. I wasn't positive I wanted to throw this one on the list, but it has so much nostalgia for me, and it's kind of like an Olympic sports title, and that is Caveman Game, featuring events like wife toss, dino racing, and racing making a fire. You even get to club your opponent over the head as they're trying to make the fire faster than you. It takes a bit to get used to a lot of the controls in the game, but Caveman Game is one of those ones I have a lot of nostalgia for and a lot of fond memories with. Another odd sports title to throw on this list, Super Dodgeball, part of the Kunio Kun series of games which featured Crash and the Boys and of course River City Ransom. In the game you pick from different countries and battle each other in Dodgeball. It has some really fun mechanics, even though there is some sprite flicker that can get a bit annoying in the game. It has a great soundtrack that goes along with each of the courses as you're going from country to country and is still an absolute blast to play today, single or multiplayer against a friend. One of the first hockey games I ever played, Blades of Steel from Konami. It has the memorable halftime shows, the awesome fighting engine, which wasn't seen a whole lot back in the day, as well as just absolutely solid hockey action, being finally remembered by myself and many others as one of the best playing hockey games of all time. If you can get your hands on it, Konami's Blades of Steel is one you need to check out. Another one I debated putting on this list, but Pro Wrestling. There was a couple of WWF related video games on the NES, but far and away the best playing for me and the one I had the most nostalgia for is Pro Wrestling. Whether you're playing as the Amazon or Starman or King Corn Karn, it is an absolute blast still today to boot up that game and suplex and drop kick your opponents until you're able to get that one, two, three. It's still a very satisfying game to play, and when you do, a winner is you. Another first for me, the first basketball game I ever played, Double Dribble. It didn't have a lot of teams for you to choose from, and is bare bones as far as the amount of modes it had, but it's all about the on-court action. I felt this was still the best playing basketball game available on the NES, and the one I have the most memories with. Even with the sweet spot that you can just keep hitting shot after shot after shot with never missing, it is still really fun to go back and check out Double Dribble. There's a lot of baseball games on the NES. In fact, I could probably do a top 10 baseball games for the system, but one of my favorites for sure is Baseball Stars. It featured battery backup because you could edit your teams, customize them, and even have the higher players dealing with finances, with players that weren't so good costing less than, of course, the really great players, and you have to manage that out. It also had a very solid baseball playing engine behind it, making Baseball Stars one of the absolute best baseball titles that you you can find on the NES.
Not the best playing baseball style game on the system, but Dusty Diamond's All-Star Softball is one of my absolute favorites. With an extremely goofball variety to its characters, all with different stats, with different speeds, different abilities to catch, pitching styles, and even some that could float in the outfield in order to make some fly ball catches. As well as fields to play on like the school and cliff that all added variety to the play field itself. It is one of the funnest of the baseball titles for sure, even if it didn't feature a ton of different modes or customization really, but getting to select your team from that big selection of various characters was one of the highlights of this game and one of the reasons why I still love it today. Before we get to number one, a couple of honorable mentions. Because my dad was into them, I played a lot of the fishing titles from the NES and Super Nintendo days. One of the highlights for sure was Blue Marlin. I liked it more than Black Bass just because you were going after a marlin, which was so much cooler than just a normal everyday bass, as well as just the areas and locations were more exciting due to like Miami and other tropical-like locations, and it had a great soundtrack behind it. It was a pretty fun fishing game, and one that I revisited many years later and found enjoyment of going back and checking it out. If you get a chance and you're looking for something maybe a bit different, Blue Marlin may be for you. While it wasn't the best playing ice hockey game on the system, Nintendo's ice hockey is one that I still have a lot of nostalgia for. Selecting your team from the average normal guy, the big tall skinny dude, and of course the big old fat guy will always be enjoyable to me. I can go back nowadays and play against a friend and still have a lot of fun. The music is forever ingrained in my skull and I can even hum it right now as I'm thinking about it. And one of the reasons why ice hockey ends up making as an honorable mention on this list. A game that almost made my main list, and the only reason I decided not to is the style game, even though it is boxing, is much more about timing than anything else. It could be argued whether it does or doesn't count as a true sports title, but the iconic Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. No matter what you've heard of from the NES, you probably have seen something from Punch-Out or Punch-Out related over the years. It is still fun and still extremely challenging to play to this day. Even though I may have the memorization of almost all of the patterns of all the fighters in the game, I can still go back and have a lot of fun replaying it over and over and over again. When I decided to make this list, there was no doubt what my number one was going to be. Tecmo Super Bowl. I could have gone with regular Tecmo Bowl, but Super Bowl was, well, just that. It was super. It had all the teams of the time, all the real NFL players of the time, and still has some of the funnest football action ever. Heck, there's very few football games I've played over all the years of gaming that were as fun as this one. Maybe Mutant League Football can potentially go on that list, but Tecmo Super Bowl is just still an absolute blast. It's iconic, it's remembered finally to this day, it's still updated through ROM hacking, and heck, even featured in modern commercials. Tecmo Super Bowl is easily my favorite and the best sports title that ever came out for the NES. So there you have it, the 10 best sports titles on the NES, of course, in my opinion. But in your opinion, what is your favorite sports title from the NES, or maybe your favorite nostalgic sports title of all time? Which games didn't I include that should have made the list, and which ones do you think are the worst sports titles, as I will be working on that list very soon. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this countdown. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.